What's going on guys, Copert here, and welcome back, finally, once again, to the last episode of my Let's Play Prison Architect Alpha 16, I believe it's episode 18, and some men just like to watch the world burn. We're going to burn this thing down today, we're going to give it a nice send off, uh, you can see the guys, they just woke up, it is shower time, you can see there is no cooks in the kitchen, uh, there's no food to be had, so we're just going to see how this goes, see how this turns out, how long it takes for them to lose their cool, and start riding. Now, you can see, let's give you some quick stats. We've got about just about 300 prisoners, 227 maximum, 58 mi minimum, or normal, medium, and 12 minimum. The minimum are going to get eaten alive. Uh, 50 guards, what do we got? 50 total guards. Uh, yeah, about 40 regular guards, 10 dogs. Um, I basically left the prison exactly how it would normally be operating. I left the three gates here. I thought about changing that. And I said, you know, nope, that's how I'm using it. So I'm going to leave it. I, I kind of closed the gate here and I had a solitary door there. I closed that. But everything else I kind of left open. Like, this is how I standard is operate. This is the way I want to check it out. Here we go. They're going to come in here. My frames are taking a pretty big hit. File it in. Let's see how many uh, meals this takes. It looks like there's a lot of hungry people here. Very low threat right now, so we'll see how long it takes them to kind of decide to start ripping toilets out of the ground and attacking guards. Uh, the idea here is a lot of you guys had really good ideas on how to do this. Really funny ones that I may go back and do just to kind of as, uh, you know, a funny video. But what I wanted to do with this is I wanted to kind of simulate a normal occurrence. Like, I've had this happen to me before in previous prisons where, for whatever reason, I wasn't able to feed my prisoners. Uh, be it, you know... Uh, one time I know the trucks got glitched out, somebody like died in the street or a corpse ended up in the street and the truck couldn't get by. So literally I couldn't get deliveries and I wasn't getting any groceries, couldn't feed my prisoners, quickly things unraveled. Other times we just, you know, lost some power maybe, you know, the power tripped or blew, shorted, the, you know, the first time you figure out you can't cross the wires. I mean, I think everybody's done that, right? Unless you watched Let's Plays or something before, um, and your kitchen blows up or something and, and here you go. It's a ticking time bomb. Can't feed them. You know, that's going to be a bad thing. You know, that's going to be a problem. Um, so the idea here is to kind of just simulate something that would normally happen for those of you that are watching. Um, like I said, and that's why I left everything kind of as it is. I kind of had the guards. Now, I trimmed the guards down a little while ago because I was trying to find the optimal number. So I may have too many guards. They might be able to quell this a bit. My, my big worry here, oh, that's one thing I did. I did change the policy. My big worry here is that the guards will be able to quell that initial riot. And they'll be able to beat the guys up um, and subdue them, handcuff them. And then I don't really know what would happen. So what I did to kind of stifle that is I went into policy and I re removed all the punishments. So this way, when they do detain someone, maybe they'll just let them go again. Um, really, honestly, not a fair shake for the guards. But uh, for the purpose of the episode, that's why I did it that way. I figured it would be more fun, more interesting. This is milling around. Threat level is not really going too much. It is about to start rising. We'll see. I'm, I'm curious how many meals it'll take. I'll probably take... I'm going to guess at least two meals before they really start going. I don't know. I, again, here we go. Let's see. what is there a deterrence going on? Uh, suppressed compliant. Serious complaints are raising. 50 are pretty well treated, though. 60 are still well treated. So there's no deterrent in there. So that we'll see how that affects it, where there's nobody's been punished lately. For some reason, the danger level has gone down, probably just because they're not, you know, all grouped together so tightly like that. Uh, it's been a little while since I did a... Shakedown. I kind of did it on purpose. Nothing, not 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 abnormally long. So there's a good chance there may be some weapons in here. There may not. I don't know. Um, always seems to be plenty of spoons and when I do a shakedown, but it has been a gun, knives, batons, that type of stuff. I don't know how much that actually factors into a riot. I, I don't know if they actually like use these things. I gotta imagine they would. Oh, there's a gun. They just found a dude with a gun. Where are the guns coming from? Well, lucky they just found that then. Um. Or does it just make them more likely to riot? Like, hey, I've got a gun back on my cell. I'm going to shoot this cop, you know? I don't know. I don't exactly know the details. And I guess maybe we'll find out here. So, again, nothing's really raising here. I, I assume work is going to be a good uh, motivator as they go to work and, and kind of get pissed off and, and not happy about that. Let's check out the needs real quick. So again, food's up there. Getting up there. When they miss another meal, it's definitely getting it up there. Everything else is good, though. This is normal. This is a normal day in my prison. Food is up there pretty high. I'm trying to think what else you guys might want to see. The regime is my, 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 you know, my late game standard regime where money doesn't really matter. I went over it in the previous episode for you. Basically, we're sitting and we're waiting. Um, we're going to see what's going on here. Against, got rid of the cooks, felt a little guilty doing it. But then I realized I was saving their lives pro probably. So then I kind of felt a little better about that. I do feel kind of bad. 
uh, you know, that potentially some guards are going to die. They've done an admirable job. I'm actually quite proud of this prison. It's worked really well. My designs and, and theories on it, I mean, it's a pretty sturdy prison. I, I have no doubt that I could take this number and keep going and just kind of building it out. And like I said, I feel like even this blueprint right here with another canteen here, probably handle, I don't even know, probably 500 prisoners at least. Probably something like that. And that's pretty that's pretty cool for just, you know, the standard size map. And I, I expanded once here. So that's pretty pretty cool to me. Very profitable. I uh, used the trees to boost myself. You know, like I said, that was mostly for the Let's Play. Just because I didn't want to take episode after episode of doing nothing. But now it's kind of self-sufficient enough. And it's, it's easy to kind of just move on with it. So we're at a little over the five minute mark here in this video. As I'm looking at my timer. Not too bad. Not too bad. They must have been pretty complacent. As I'm just kind of watching guys. People, I should, probably should have gotten rid of the TVs. That would have been a good idea. Make them a little more angry quicker because that recreation can really do that. One of the things I, th you know, if, if they need a push, I figure I'll give them. This is going to be their evening meal they're going to miss. If they need a little more motivation after that, what I may do is uh, throw them in lockdown. That usually pisses them off quite a bit. Uh, are these guys just moving real slow? Like, my, my frames are taking a pretty big hit, which is one of the problems with a larger prison, unfortunately. I mean, I have a pretty good PC, and, uh, you know, the game runs really well uh, for an alpha. Uh, but as I got up, I noticed as I started crunching up to 300 prisoners, I've got 50 guards, I've got all... I mean, jeez, I don't even know how much... I mean, it's got to be just quick scan, another 50 staff, you know, running around. So I've got 400 AI units running around the prison... Uh, the, 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 my frames are starting to take a hit, especially when I record, you know, when I'm just playing, it's fine, so, I don't know if you notice it moving slowly, it seems to be a little bit to me, so here we go, we, what did we miss, I'm confused here, day 136, they're at work, let me, as I'm jabbering away, I'm not paying attention, okay, so they've been at work, so they've only missed the one meal, I think, correct, that's how much, I'm just kind of watching as everything raises up, so, that'll be the real telling one, I think, what's the need, yeah, there we go. I think, whoop, there we go. There's a fight right there breaking out. In the cupboard. That guard was able to, he got injured, but he was able to quell it. Oh, yeah, it's going to start going now. You see all the guys running around there, angry, fighting. Oh, fights are breaking out all over now. There we go. Got a good fight over here by the yard. Oh, by the front. Oh, the shop, huh? Yeah, right by the dogs. Dogs. See, dogs are what is going to do it. Dogs are either going to turn the tide. Yeah, see, dogs just, just OP. This is where, see, this is, they're actually, the guards are lucky here that this didn't start at a mealtime. I was just going to say, we don't have an official riot yet. If this had started at mealtime, that would have been a huge problem for the guards. All these guys in here, which they've just missed it by not much. Bloodbath in the, in the common room. What we need to see is we need to see the prisoners get the upper hand somewhere in one of these fights. That's going to be where it turns bad, where they can group up. So we've got some guards here grouped up. That's that's good for them. I'm trying to see where it's breaking off. Got a lot of blood all over. Oh, see, they might have an upper hand in here. Looks like they do. Oh, look at the guy with the drill! <laughs> Keys. All right, this is could be the where they're, they turn. Oh, no, guards are coming. So where are they coming from? Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. Guards are dying. That's what I. That's what I mean. The guard, the guard, the inmates have to get the ad advantage somewhere. If the guards are able to fight little, you know, kind of small battles all over, I think they'll be able to do it. Let's see, he's got them. Yeah, he's got both of them. I'm, I'm curious. I'm not sure how the policy. If they're just going to be re-released immediately, I'm, I'm not sure. So there's a couple guards on this one. Oh, they just got that. Yeah, see? I think they're starting to turn it now, but there's not that many prisoners rioting left. These guys in here, they're not even yet, are they? Yeah, see? These guys are rioting. I'm curious, though, when they're going to make the move. What do we got? We're about 10 minutes in now. They missed about two meals. I grabbed that thing. I'm curious to see if he grabs it. They're not hurting the staff, which is interesting. These guys are just on the phone. Awesome. Yeah, this is this is where it's gonna pop off. These a lot of these guys are not restrained. All right, I'm not really sure what just happened there. I think I thought it was gonna crash, but then it didn't. So here we go. We got 38 dead bodies. We got it says 81 prisoners rioting, but a lot of them aren't doing much. I'm 
not sure what's going to happen now, honestly. I, I would assume they would all kind of try to escape, no? He is just killing them while he's unconscious. That ain't right. I'm just kind of curious what they're going to do. These guys are all chilling in here, which I don't get. They're not trying to break down the doors, which they've done to me in prisons before. So that's kind of unusual to me. There's a lot of guard uh, inmates. I don't see too many guards moving anymore. I'm fighting that guy. He's going to be done soon. That guy's running away. Oh, this makes me feel kind of good. Oh, here comes a dog. Dog going to clean up on him? Guards are still coming, though, to their credit. I don't know where they're coming from. Yeah, but like I said, the, the, the inmates now have the advantage in too many areas. These guys are cleaning admirably. Alright, so where... See, it looks like the yard is where it's at right now. I can't really see it anywhere else. And they control in here, too. But what are they going to do now? This guy with the drill is cracking me up. That's my question, is... Are they going to try to escape or not? I mean, I particularly left the fence to see what would happen there. These guys trying to get out. Yeah, they're trying to run away at danger levels, I'm guessing. Looks like we've only got a couple dogs left there. Guards are just randomly, like, this one's randomly stationed here. These guys are, they're still riding. Just, they're not really doing much. Which is weird, because like I said, I've had I've had rides before where they've like stormed the door and kicked the kicked the last door out the main gate and ran out in the street and escaped. I don't know why they're uh, not trying to do that. I guess maybe the defenses are too thick. They don't think they can make it. So I don't even have any eyes over here anymore. Look at this man. Oof. Here we go. Yeah, I don't know why these guys are just hanging out in here and not making any kind of a run for it. Because like I said, I. I literally only just have a, uh, a chain link fence right here, so <laughs> they could get out if they really wanted to. What, uh, let's see here. Now, do I have, these guys are all subdued in here, so it's really kind of, I mean, come on, these guys, everybody should be riding at this point, right? They should all be hungry, you know? But we've missed several meals now. say like are they no, it looks like I don't know if that's they're scared like danger level or if they're riding let's see it's not telling me oh because I don't have the yeah like it's very bizarre because I like, hear the dogs right these guys are all here these guys are all subdued it looks like but guys in here aren't yeah I know you want food I'm not feeding you do something <laughs> Dog's getting somebody. Hmm. So even though there's virtually no, what is this red stuff here? There's still guys dancing in here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to open a couple gates and see if. Guess a guard went in there. So there's definitely guys in here riding. I just don't know when they're gonna make a run. I wonder if that's changed, which doesn't make any sense. I feel like they should. So let's just see what happens here. I'm going to open this one. Uh, this one did get attacked. Does that make anybody make a run? Doesn't seem like you hear the cop coming here. They're going and attacking him once they see him, but just him by himself. Now, he did get the guy, too. Look at him. These cops are beasts. He just, that's the third guy he took down. He's cleaning it up. This guy's freaking crazy. Auto save. I'm worried about auto save crashing because my frames are going really low. Guy's got a pair of keys and he gets him with the keys. <laughs> oh, they killed him too. That ain't even right. He was unconscious, dog. You didn't have to do that. Again, I'm still not sure. I got 53 dead bodies. Let's just check for, for a laugh. Evaluation. Oh my god, I lost all my evaluation. Murder, 62. Still haven't had an escape though, but oh man. 
I lost 2.3 million dollars. Okay, so I open that one. I open this one. So let's see. I'm gonna leave just the, the main gate. That should be, you know, everything's open wide. Come and get it. I'm trying to understand how their AI is working. This is what I'm talking about, where I can maybe understand a little bit better. I have a gate over here I can open, don't I? Let's see. Let's make him run. Make any difference for him. Entice them. I have. Uh, that's a, wow, see, that one's already 100% damaged. Is this whole cell block just damaged? Is that what's going on? See, I don't see any of them trying to escape. They're, they're quite content here, I guess. And slowly, these dogs are just getting them. I think there's a chance the guards are going to win out here. They've got a couple dogs. Dogs are OP in that regard. Alright, so let's, let's pop the main gate and see if that'll make them move. It's supposed to make them move, you know, normally. Let's see if we get our first... This is a lot more riding now. Like, the number of riding keep going up. Like I said, I had... Uh, the, the guards might end up winning this. There's probably, like, this guard here is full, full health. This guard here looks like full health. So there's a couple full health guards and a couple dogs. Oh man, we're getting prisoner intake though. That's bad news for the guards. Because these are all... I believe these are all... High... Yep, they're only high risk, so they're probably going to pop right off. Alright, so we're almost about 20 minutes. Going to go a little bit longer with this. See if we can... Ooh, you know what I wonder? Alright, this is what I think I might do. Well, first let me do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna release all these guards that are on patrol. I'll leave those two at the gate. Give them something to fight through there. There's really not that many left. Those are all dead. Let's see what happens now. They're all fighting, obviously. I'm basically sending them to their deaths. Oh, this guy went and got healed. Look, the doctors are actually doing some work. That's interesting. They never do it normally. <laughs> and there's 17 prisoners going to be coming. That's tough. And a lot of these guards... A lot of these... Yeah, a lot of these convicts are probably uh, pretty well armed at this point. See, they got batons and things. So there you go. That answers that question. They do use them. So this guy. This guy's taking them down. He just took out two cops. Finally taking down himself. Oh, this guy's going at him with some keys. Oh, now he's got a baton. He just, he's just dual wielding things here. There can't be too many prisoners left, though. I mean, it was a pretty big crowd down here, right? Yeah, there's a couple guys in here. But they're kind of, like, stuck in here. I don't know what's going on. This guy's just running off on his own. He's probably just trying to get away. Lots of guys over here milling around. Because I think the next the next move I'm going to do... I only got 13 guards left. What do we got left? Six dogs. All right. So let's, I'm going to do a shakedown see what happens. If it just kind of stirs the pot. Now these guys aren't even getting out of the truck, which is interesting. I wonder if they don't do that if there's a riot. I'll look quick. Valuations. Has there been an escape? Nope. Nobody's gone out the front gate. All right. I don't know what happened here. Everything's starting to glitch out. My, my whole camera movement, everything just totally glitched out on me. So I'm going to wrap this up. I don't know what to tell you guys. I mean, we had a pretty big riot. We had... 60 deaths, 132 requiring medical attention. I've lost about 40 guards dead. That's pretty crazy. 40 guards dead means, you know, 40 of those 60 are, are guards. Definitely some guys still in here rioting, but, uh... Oh, we had some people here. Some guys did try to make it. No, they weren't always there, I don't think, were they? Shake it down. Heck? I'm just seeing if this will send the guards into different places. I'm just trying to shake them around. She's going around here. Yeah, I, honestly, I think miraculously, it's going to take them forever to do the shakedown. It's, I'm not even doing that. I'm just trying to, like I said, stir the guards around. I think the guards have won this because I think they're getting healed. So, I don't know. It's really hard to say. All right, well, let's go in here because I'd like to see this come to an end. I think that's all the stations, right? Am I missing something? Probably a stupid one somewhere. Oh, that could be. Because that's there. 
Let's see if that does it. That should be a straight shot. I don't even know what the our family's seriously still visiting. Why the, the doctors are leaving? Guards are bringing prisoners in. That's not really the smartest thing in the world, guys. <laughs> I think the doctors just bounced. So why did all these guys get detained? Are these the guys in the truck? Who's gonna win this? This is a minimum security guy with his fist against a baton. Oh, he got him. I'm like strangely rooting for the, the inmates now. What I don't get though is these guys that are just hanging out down here. Like, this is the hotbed of. I wonder if I could come in here and just. Let's have a battle royale, guys. These guys in here are definitely rioting. So if you're available, get in there. Man, that's part of the reason. Speed this up. Got one, two, three going in here. Yeah, the game is definitely getting glitchy. I apologize. This is like the worst episode that I've recorded. It's glitching out big time. You figure the, the inmates in here are pretty well armed at this point. And they just, I, I don't love it, but it's funny how they, like, they're injured and they still just <laughs> keep attacking them. Right, here's two more. There can't be that many left guard-wise. Double teaming him, they got him, there's another guy, oh, there's two guards there. Quelled that. Look at this guy. Boss man. I don't know what to tell you guys. It's kind of disappointing to be honest. I mean, actually, the, the guards and everybody did really well. These guys are like hiding in here. Let's let these people get out of here, I guess. But nobody's trying to escape. Doesn't make any sense to me. The, the doors are wide open. I don't see anybody trying to get out of the prison though, so. Seems like a little weird AI going on here. I've definitely seen it happen. I absolutely seen it happen. I don't know what to tell you about that. Let's just check the, the evaluation to see. Interesting to see they don't attack staff, although I still know no escapes. I've had people escape all the time. Let's see this in uh, materials. I should have workers that'll come do that. Maybe they won't because it's too too uh, too dangerous. No, oh, they're coming. Good boys. I just want to see if they will actually try to escape now. Nah. Mm, yeah, it's a little weird. There they go. They're out of here. Very weird. They weren't recognizing my main, my main gate for some reason. If you guys think you know why, please tell me in the comments. I'd be curious. Here we go. We're going to at least see how many prisoners are still here. Because <laughs> they're all leaving right now. I had to let them out, though, basically. I had to this guy with the drill. Still, oh, he's going to take a couple. He can make some damage on his way out. It's great. So there you go. A little glitchy, a little weird. Still don't really know what was going on. Learned some things, though. Guards are pretty powerful, especially dogs. They can really stand the tide. Uh, doctors were healing. That was a big thing I didn't predict. So they didn't seem to do much for me when I when I needed them to otherwise. 66 escapes. Probably to be like 70 or 80 as these stragglers come through. But there you go, guys. There's the end of Alpha 16 prison. We will be back for Alpha 17, maybe. Definitely Alpha 18, I would say. Depending on what features they bring in. Hopefully some good ones. Uh, I may go back and do this, like I said, pop in a little cache of uh, arm guards, turn this on like we just did, and just let the arm guards go to town. It would be a friggin' bloodbath. But I hope you enjoyed the series. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for your support. Take care, guys.